love cricket because it's been in my blood for 30 years and uh, can't get enough of it. Uh, do you think that Johnny Bairstow is a good addition to the England team today? Very good addition, very exciting, nice to see a young talent going, uh, they're going with a young guy. Um, I mean, Morgan's had his chance, there's now Bairstow's opportunity, so I hope for him and for his family and everything that's happened that it all goes well for him. Yeah, very good addition. Uh, reason I'm here today, uh, went to school with him and want to see him make his test debut. I think he adds uh, batting depth, which we haven't actually had. Uh, I think it's a good thing Vapar is out, I think it'll be good that uh, Bayer stays in. It'll be interesting to see, obviously his uh, reputation is more as a, a, a one-day player, so he's quite destructive with the bats. So it'll be interesting to see whether he can uh, make a step up to test level. Obviously Owen Morgan struggled a little bit to make that transition over the course of the last couple of years. So. He seems like he could be a good player, he could be somebody who could really add emphasis down the bottom of the innings, but big step up for him, I think. Is Andrew Strauss still the right man to lead this England side? I think so. I think obviously the press always get up and everyone's back whenever they have a few bad results, but he's definitely the right man. I think he's got a lot of respect from the players, which I think is key for the captain tonight. He's an incredibly strong leader. I think it's a load of nonsense that people are suggesting. It's this long running, um, if not quite a witch hunt, then I don't really know who's perpetuating the, the suggestion that Strauss should resign. He's, he is one of the best. He's in the, top, the best three um, England uh, captains that we've had in, in my lifetime, certainly. I think he's got many more tests to, to go as captain. What about um, Jimmy Anderson being named Player of the Year? Uh, he's been outstanding for the last two or three years and uh, he's thoroughly deserved his accolade. Rightly so. Born wicket taker. Always, always takes wickets. Anderson's in his absolute pomp at the moment. Um, all the experience he's had in the Test Match Arena and in County Cricket have all come together in the last sort of few seasons and he's bowling probably the best seamer in the world at the moment. He can swing the ball both ways and I don't think the batsman can really see which way it's going to go. Coming out of his wrist, he doesn't really change his wrist action too much. Uh, and he, he consistently puts it on, puts it there or thereabouts. I think he's great, yeah, he's done a wonderful job all around the world. Um, good ambassador for the game, great player, lovely looking wife, yeah, can't fault it. The West Indies, they like the Caribbean heat and this is dreadful. The sun's not going to be out, I don't think, over this uh, this first test match, so uh, England swing bowlers should be able to have some uh, rewards. Maybe Rappi Rampal for the West Indies might benefit, but other than that, I think um, strongly in our favour. I think, actually, the West Indies are going to come out firing. They've got a lot of young players in the team. I think it, it might actually be a bit harder than we all think, but that said, English conditions, it's pretty grey and overcast. Well, they're home, so they should they should do very well. They've got a good team, the weather's just right for England swing bowling, so they should do well. This is the number one team in the world, and we have to give them their respect there. And you feel England still deserves that position after their performance during the winter against Pakistan and Sri Lanka? Oh, well, yes, I think so. I mean, we have to give credit to you. It doesn't take a team two days to fall long, it takes them a little while.